two soups that most Ghanaians love are palm nut soup and granite soup or peanut butter soup but when you combine these two you get an absolutely delicious out of this world perfect soup called Nkatebe this is what we are making today I'm going to be sharing the recipe with you and here are the simple ingredients you will need to make this and I'll be mentioning them as I use them so first of all we are going to cut up one of our onions so this is a large onion I'm just going to dice it up add some ginger to this together with some anise and blend it this is going to go on our meat to start our soup A big thank you to my mom for always supplying me with amazing ingredients. This anise came from her as well as the recipe for this soup. So you don't need a lot of anise. I put in just about half a teaspoon. So I'm going to be using some turkey bones in my soup. This is the bones from a turkey that I cut up and fried. And then I grilled the bones on my grill. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw me do this. Please follow me on Instagram, by the way. You will see a lot of things that I never put in my videos. You can definitely use smoked turkey, which is so common here so easily available and I'm using my knife for Mercy's cookware and this just cuts everything so easily so my turkey has been cut up I have some cow food that I have pre-cooked so it's going to make my soup you know the process a little bit easier normally this takes longer to cook so I parboil this in my pressure cooker and I'm going to use that I've added in here my turkey bones I have here some tripe I'm going to add in some crabs. So I have three blue crabs in here which have been cleaned already. So there they go. And I'm going to add some herrings in here as well because herrings in here is just going to bring a little bit of that extra oomph in the soup, okay? And I'm going to add some salt to it. And now I'm going to blend my onion, anise, and ginger. And this is going to go on my meat. My marinade has been blended and poured onto my meat. I rinsed out my blender with just a little bit of water, about half a cup of water covered, and I'm just going to bring this to a boil. I very seldomly use palm nut base from the can. Normally, my mom will just make me this palm nut. Uh, pulp so this is just palm nuts which has been pounded she actually boils it with some turkey berries or, uh, or abedru pound it sometimes she adds some tomatoes in there as well sun dries part of it so the kernels we are removed and then sun dried and then she freezes part of it as well this makes it just easy to travel with and then I just store them in my freezer both the fresh and then the sun dried and it's just perfect for you to make your soup so I bought some water and I've added that hot water in here just like we'll do it at home and I'm going to just use the warm water I should say warm because it has to be at a temperature that you can actually dip your hands in and I'm just going to um, mix everything up so I'll be able to extract the juice from my pulp and that is what we are going to start making our palm nut soup with I've been able to just mix everything up and now I'm just squeezing out the pulp so you squeeze it out just so you get a lot of the juices as much of the juices out of the pulp because this is going to be discarded back in the day you would just sun dry this again and then just smoke your pot your water pot it makes your water so flavorful but <laughs> if i had a clay pot i probably was going to save some i still have some in the freezer let me know if you've tried to do that here it will be my soap So I pretty much got all the pop out of my juice here. I have a few kernels as well. They are all cracked. There's pretty much no nuts in it. Ah, I drain it in a few times I find a whole one or a whole the nuts, you know, and then I'll just wash it off and eat it. <laughs> like I say, you can take the girl out of the village, but you can't take the village out of her, okay? <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and strain this, and this part of our soup will be done. So I'm going to be using a very fine strainer because I'm trying to just strain this one time. And in straining it, you want to just gradually pour. You don't want to pour the juice or whatever is on the bottom of your pot. As you can see, it's mostly just the little pieces of the kernel that is just sitting there. So you don't want that. I've rinsed out my glass bowl now. 
and I'm going to put the pulp back in here because it still has a lot of good stuff in there that I don't want to just discard. I want to get the best everything out of this for my soup. So I bought some more water and I'm just going to put a little bit of that in here just to rinse this off thoroughly so I know that you know it can truly truly go in the trash and of course everything on the edges that is your palm oil that you are going to uh, discard if you don't just try to make it all go in my liquid and so the water this time around is a little bit too hot uh, be mindful of how hot you make your water if you happen to get this but of course I have to say you can also use the canned one to make this same soup you just follow uh, the the um, recommendations or whatever the can says or just watch my I'm going to link my palm nut soup video that I use the canned one also so you can use the canned one the cream to make this recipe so as you can see this is very dry now very very clean and so I think I've got my money's worth or my mom's money's worth and his struggles worth <laughs> And I'm going to just add this in here. So I'm going to just strain it on top of what I previously strained. And this time around too, I'm still going to be careful to not just pour everything in the bottom of the bowl. Because that is just going to introduce some of the nuts in here and you don't want that. I really have no intention of wasting any of my ingredients. So I'm just going to rinse it off with a little bit of hot water. So everything in the strainer is also clear. Squeeze it out. And our soup base is ready at this point. My meat and my fish has been cooking for about 15 to 20 minutes at this point. Perfect timing for me to add my palm base in here. Everything is just smelling amazing. Just very simple ingredients on it, but hmm, just so good. Perfect combination for this kind of soup, I must say. And I'm going to now add in the base. Just pour it in here. And even as I pour it in here, I'm going to be mindful to leave a little bit at the base as you can see you see a little bit of dark particles this is a combination of the kernels and the turkey berry seeds in there you just don't want to have that in your soup and just stir this and i'm just going to let this cook just like granite soup would do once you introduce your palm nut base into your pot you don't want to cover it all the way because it can just make some foam and that foam is just going to make everything just boil over and my mom will tell you that is the delicious part of your soup we want our soup to retain its deliciousness so let it vent a little bit so actually our soup has cooked for about 25 minutes at this point you can see some oil coming in the palm oil which of course we are going to end up just decanting and setting it aside so we can just use it another day once you add your granite soup your granite base in here of course you're going to lose all your palm oil you might get oil but you can use it as palm oil so i'm going to let this cook for about an extra 10 minutes so the oils really come to the surface at this point i have lowered the heat so it it's able to just bring up all the oil to the surface and then we can just scoop it off so I let the soup simmer down for about 10 minutes and that is enough time for you to get all this palm oil coming to the surface and using my ladle I'm just going to decant this so you are trying to scoop the oil and trying your best not to get too much of your soup onto your ladle so whatever is in there that I think is soup I transfer it back into my pot and then I scoop some more of my oil so you repeat this process until you get as much of your oil of your soup and into your pot which you can then cook it down so I'm just going to later on cook this down a little bit to uh, fry up or let the liquid evaporate so I just have my palm oil and this I'm just going to store in a jar and you can use it otherwise at other times for recipes that require palm oil very simple and this is very delicious I always say this is better than the ones that you would just get which is just made made with the purpose of making palm oil this is very flavorful because it has all the ingredients that the soup had so this is about a cup of palm oil that i've been able to extract i've set it aside i'm adding in here my tomatoes and my pepper and this i'm going to let it boil and soften up a little bit then i'll blend so at this point our soup has cooked for about 35 minutes almost 40 minutes it's a perfect time for me to introduce the granite part of uh in Katibé. so i have some peanuts here this is peanut butter all natural peanut butter this has no sweetness in it and so i'm going to blend that with about a cup of water 
this I find to be way easier than just trying to use your hand to uh, mix up the peanut butter and the water and once that is done I'm just going to pour it here into my soup so into my palm nut soup so now we have initiated the Nkatebe process so Nkatebe has joined the Abe I've also rinsed out my blender and added that in here and now I'm just going to stir make sure everything is well mixed up which will mix up anyway once it start boiling and we just wait for this to just cook down a little bit so that flavors and fragrances just begins to hit your nostrils. Chese, enyasem ketua waha. Hey, aroma pa. Enyam hu yonpunyo. Ehu dia, mmm. The tomatoes and pepper has been here for a little over 10 minutes. I don't want it to cook all the way or cook a little longer and then it's just going to get mushy in here and I'll have particles of my tomatoes in my soup. So I'm going to fish them out now and then we are going to blend them. So just like I would do with my palm nut soup, I'm going to blend my tomatoes and pepper and I've also cut up my other um, onion. So my large onion is in here now. I'm going to add that in here. I also have a few pieces of ginger as well. And these I'm going to blend all together and then that will go into the soup. And the aromas and flavors that the fresh onion and ginger bring to your soup. I keep saying it. You just have to try it to really understand. It's just amazing. It's been about 30 minutes since I added the granite into my palm soup. So since we started the actual Inkatebe emergence and now I'm adding my smoked mackerel. So this is oven grilled actually and it's very well seasoned. So it's perfect. It doesn't need anything. You could pretty much eat it raw and it's a perfect time for me to add that in here. I'm just going to make sure that they are well situated and then I'm going to add my blended tomatoes, onion and ginger in here. You may want to strain your tomatoes and onion blend if your blender doesn't do a great job at crushing everything. Mine pretty much liquefies everything so I don't need to do that. Our soup should be ready in less than 20 minutes. So it's a perfect time for me to add in my smooth catfish. This is Ohineba from Cloyobi. Thank you so much Salema for getting me this. It is just amazing. It is not overly smoked so you don't have to cook it for too long in your soup. It is very fragrant, very very tasty. Asante for you because it announces you air day. It is all the tongue quite in Ah, jai 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 minia. Yes. Thank you so much. I am feeling this and I am super 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 thankful. So I'm just going to let this simmer down and then our soup is pretty much done fufu is on course amuto is on course these are the two things that you will pretty much enjoy your soup with but in all honesty you can have this with anything anything at all you can have it with some boiled yam you can have it with some kukunte so if you want to face the wall it's all over to you and our soup has simmered down for about almost the 20 minutes as you can see i have a lot of oil now beneath that foam so this is pretty much a little bit of the palm oil and the oil from the peanut soup or the peanut butter i should say and our soup is done you don't want to over stir you don't want to break this beautiful beautiful uh smoked fish that is in here you want it to stay intact so it's just popping and it's just giving you some pizzazz in here okay and our soup is done i'm just going to put some peppers in here as you saw i started the whole soup it had just one pepper just for the sake of my kids i want them to enjoy this so as always i'll put some peppers in here it brings some color as well I leave the stock on because I want the heat of the peppers to remain in the peppers itself and not the soup. Just cover this, turn off the flame, let the residual heat just uh, make the peppers soft and food is ready. Look at this bowl of deliciousness. Ah, I know for sure you are wanting to have this. I wish I could invite you over. This was so good. Just look at this. Uh-huh. 
ah in captain bed papa b thank you so much for watching if this is your first time watching me my name is Granchua. And making simple replicable meals like this is what truly makes my heart happy and I hope you subscribe to my channel for more and until I come your way next time with something delicious be loving be kind be happy